Class 6, Chapter 8, Body Movements. Now we all move from one place to another. We move our body parts also. Now, how it is possible? It is possible because of joints. There are different joints in our body. So joints are the places in the body where two or more bones meet. In simple joints, two bones meet whereas in compound joints more than two bones meet. Now we have different kinds of joints in our body. Let's say ball and socket joint. In such a joint, the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of the other bone. This joint allows movement in all the directions. We have ball and socket joint in our shoulder. The another joint is pivotal joint. In a pivotal joint, a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring. It allows a movement in forward, backward, right and left directions. We have pivotal joint in our neck, where the neck joins the head. We have another kind of joint that is hinge joint. It allows movement in only one direction that is upward and downwards. It is like the hinge in the door as door opens in and out. In the same way we have the hinge joint in our elbow. The another kind of joint is fixed joint. The bones cannot move at these points. Bones in our head joint in upper jaw and the rest of the head all these are the examples of fixed joint skeletal now skeleton is important for the body because it provides a framework to our body and it helps in the movement of our body because we have joints in the skeleton and it provides support and shape to our body we have the rib cage. Ribs join the chest bone and backbone together to form a rib cage. Now, rib cage is important for the body because it provides protection to important internal parts of our body. For example, we have lungs and heart, which are very important for the body. Now, the next important part of the skeleton is backbone. It is made up of many small bones. The rib cage is joined to these bones and these are known as vertebrae. Shoulder bones, we have pelvic bones. They enclose the portion of the body below the stomach. Skull, skull it is made up of many bones joined together. It encloses and protects a very important part of the body, the brain. So skull provides protection to the brain which is very important. Apart from these bones, we have uh, the soft parts in the body which are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent. These are known as cartilage. For example, we have cartilage in our ears. Now, how do muscles work? We see that muscles, they work in pairs and help the bones to move. When one muscle contracts, the bone is pulled in that direction and the other pair of the muscle relaxes to move the bone in an opposite direction. Movement in earthworm. The earthworm moves by alternate expansion and contraction of muscles. The bristles on the underside of the body helps in gripping the ground and move forward. It secretes slimy subjects which further helps in easy movement. Now let's see movement in snail. Snail moves with the help of a muscular foot, which is made up of strong muscles. It shows a baby motion. Now let's see the movement in cockroach. Cockroach has three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. Muscles near to the legs move the legs for walking and breast muscles move the wings for flying. Let's see the movement in birds. They have hollow and light bones. They have streamlined body and four limbs are modified into wings. Shoulder bones are very strong. Hind limbs help in walking and perching. Movement in fish. In fish
fish, the muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and tail part moves the hook to the other side. This makes a jerk and pushes the body forward and in this way the fish move in water. And the fins of the tail, they help in the changing of the direction. That's all.